Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Calibration Academy. If you are new on this channel, and if you haven't subscribed our channel yet, then please subscribe this channel and press bell icon to get notification. And if you have missed our most recent previous videos, then you can find links in the description box to watch these videos. In today's video, I will give the answers of 7 most common quiz questions on flow measurement. So, please watch this video till the end. Now, let's go to the first question. The first question is, from the following options, which term defines the rate at which fluid flows through a closed pipe? Option A is, it can be defined as volumetric flow rate. Option B is, it can be defined as mass flow rate. Option C is, it can be defined as either the mass flow rate, or volumetric flow rate. And option D is, all of above answers. So, the correct answer for this question is, option C. It can be defined as either the mass flow rate, or volumetric flow rate. The second question is, what is the purpose of magnetic flow meter? Option A is, it measures the fluid velocity through the meter. Option B is, it measures density of the process fluid. Option C is, it measures the specific gravity of the fluid. And option D is, it measures the density, viscosity and specific gravity of the material. So, the correct answer for this question is, option A. It measures the fluid velocity through the meter. The third question is, which of the following devices used for flow obstruction? Option A is, Venturi tube. Option B is, flow nozzle and doll flow tube. Option C is, orifice plate. And option D is, all of the above answers. The correct answer is option D. All of the above device is used for flow obstruction. The fourth quiz question is, which flow meter can replace the differential pressure meters in its application? Option A is, vortex shedding flow meter. Option B is, ultrasonic flow meter. Option C is, electromagnetic flow meter. And option D is, all of above answers. The correct answer is option A. Vortex shedding flow meter can replace the differential pressure meters in its application. Now let's go to the fifth quiz question. The fifth question is, what is a main disadvantage associated with a magnetic flow meter? Option A is, it can only measure specific Reynolds number profiles. Option B is, it can only be used with low viscosity fluids. Option C is, you need to shut down the process to use a magnetic flowmeter. And option D is, it can only be used to measure flow of conductive liquids. So, the correct answer is option D. It can only be used to measure flow of conductive liquids. The second last question is, which is the main factor that influences measurement accuracy of magnetic flow meters? Option A is, excessive fluid. Option B is, temperature fluctuations. Option C is, signal distortion. And option D is, solids in the fluid. The correct answer is option C. Signal distortion. So, the last question is, what is the relationship of voltage to the magnetic field and the velocity of the conductor? Option A is, voltage is inversely proportional to the magnetic field intensity and the conductor velocity. Option B is, voltage is directly proportional to the magnetic field intensity. Option C is, voltage is directly proportional to the magnetic field intensity and the conductor velocity. And option D is, voltage is directly proportional to the conductor velocity only. The correct answer is option C. Voltage is directly proportional to the magnetic field intensity and the conductor velocity. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you like this quiz questions and answers. Please tell us your valuable feedback in comment box. And if you have any questions about this video, then please feel free to ask me your questions in comment box.
And please like and share this video with your friends, if you think our content is informative for you and others.